I've just started recording, even though Mitch is still stuffing around doing something. I'm sure sure fucking clean the dishes as I go, mate. Don't worry about cleaning the dishes. I came over here expressly to do podcasts Did with you. Did you say expressly? Expressly. That's the wrong the, word to use. The sole intentions of doing podcasts, and all you decide to do is do the dishes instead. Well, you've done the fuck. You said the wrong word. Because guess what, mate? A true chef cooks while he cleans while he cooks. No, that's not what a true chef does. I'm not sure if you've seen any TV show ever. Listen. But chefs don't usually clean stuff. You know Listen. who cleans stuff? Cooks, not chefs. Listen. And I don't think it's called chefing when you're making things like this. Do you actually sausages. want mayonnaise? Do you actually want mayonnaise? No, I don't want mayonnaise. Oh, fuck you then. I'm mayonnaise. eating your sausage. We have mayonnaise, but we don't have the thing. Here. They're probably, probably hot, as this, hot as the dickens. Alright. How come food like this, it's hot in your fingers, but you can eat it? How come your mouth can handle more heat than your fingers can? Um, I think it's an evolution thing. But, if it was an evolutionary thing, you don't normally eat cooked food until the last <clears throat> couple of thousand years. Fuck me, it's burning my insides though. It so it's inside? hot on the fingers. Yeah, fine in your mouth. Fine in your mouth, and your <laughs> insides get Makes you cry once it gets to your insides. I'm going to stretch my back, dude. That's <laughs> <laughs> how bad that hurts. I like, um... It's good because I like my sausages the way I like my chicken, just medium rare. Yeah, well, I didn't... <laughs> well, we were in a bit of fucking... A bit of a timing issue here. Yeah, Better um, than judo chop me now. <laughs> watching... Mitch with a frozen 24-pack of sausages trying to karate chop them <laughs> apart... <laughs> <laughs> Are they not apart now? Because I picked them up and broke it against the bench to get them apart. Not because you judo chop. If I didn't do that, you'd still be <sighs> judo chopping them with a bloodied hand and tears coming out of your eyes. <laughs> I Give me a them. sausage. I weakened them. You weakened them. Oh, I loosened it for you. How many sausages are you going to eat? I'm going to have two. And you can have the rest. As he just is devours all my sausages. This is the second. Yeah, and it doesn't look like you've got any time stopping soon. As a matter of fact, Mitchell, I'm going to eat all those and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> They're my dinner. Um, See, because I've already had dinner, it doesn't matter if you don't get to eat any now, so I get to eat all of them. Very good. Yeah. Um, so, how have you been? Good, mate. Quick shout out to my friends. Why not, eh? Yeah, which friends? My mate, Bevan. Yep. Do you know Bevan Cowan? You would... s &M guy forever. New Zealand guy. I think I know the name. Um... Anyway, we went riding at Ballarat Trails the other day. Yeah. And I picked him, we went out for his birthday on Saturday night. And then I picked him up on Sunday morning when we went and rode. Yeah. And I drove him out there. Mm. And he's like, do you want a um, S&M stem? Like a Creedence Hi. stem? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, man, for sure. Like, how much do you want for it? He's like, oh, no, nah, don't worry about it. It's all good. Spono. Yeah. And then I was like... And then I'm like, oh, that's a nice seat on your bike. Oh, whatever, I like <laughs> That's a good seat. See, that's a nice bike. Yeah, and then, um, anyway, <clears throat> he's going to he went to France, so he's in France now. Mm. And while he was... This week, he hits me up and goes, oh, what's your address? I'm going to send you that stem. I'm like, oh, yeah, send my address. From France? No. Oh. It was still at home. He only just left. How come he took it to France with him? You don't understand what a story is. I understand exactly. So you shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Anyway, yep. <laughs> I go to the post office Friday morning. Mm. Where there's like it's ma massive package. I'm like, yeah. what's this? Anyway, mate, I don't know if you really know what a massive package is. <laughs> Ask him. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I've seen my dad so. mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. a few too many times. Tell the story. Anyway, I go to the post office. There's a massive package. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck's this? Anyway, he sent me the stem. A hat, an S and M hat. Yeah. He sent me a like a S and M seat. Yeah, that's awesome. A whole bunch of stickers no, and a car air freshener, which I put in my new car. Oh, good. Well, yeah, pretty pumped. Shout out to Bevan. Yeah, what a legend. Where's my crap, Bevan? He doesn't give you any. Yeah, good. It's alright. I don't want any. <laughs> you getting sausages? Is that not enough? Oh, 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 they don't need to be on the screen. They need to be <laughs> curse this fish eye. <laughs> From there, it looks like you got these huge sausages. Was that the massive package? The huge sausages. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's a sick one. 
Oh, and Dale at Casey Cycles gave me this t shirt. Oh, represent. Show him. See, this is Casey Cycles. Yeah, good work, Dale. Good guy, Dale. Where's my crap, Dale? Yeah, I knew you would say that. <laughs> uh, stuff, Dale. But, um, <laughs> uh, Dale's a good bloke. Uh, we went around and patched a heap of holes in all the walls at home. There's holes everywhere. Probably haven't noticed. You're a bit vicious. No, it's not me. It's Children. Sh- stupid kids, but Haley reckons it's my fault because I let the kids ride their BMXs inside the house. Oh. <laughs> There's holes uh-huh. everywhere. And as I said to her, I go, it's fine for the kids to ride All BMX. bar height? Uh, axle height. Ah, oh, so yeah. they run. Well, not just BMXs, but because we, when we first moved into the house, that was before having kids, and we painted the house top to bottom and everything was perfect. And then once we had the first kid, when Max was about one and a half, two years old, started riding like the ride-on bikes, you know, like the plastic trike and yeah. things like that. And we just sort of let him ride around That's inside cool. the house. What was that? Not cooked. Medium rare. Mm. Yeah. Like a chicken. Yeah, let him ride. Yeah, so <laughs> let him ride around the house. Just let him ride around inside the house. And then once he started riding a balance bike, let him ride around inside the house. And you know, I've got that, how our lounge room's kind of sunken. Mm-hmm. And there's that step. Max bombed off the um, off the step yes. on his balance bike and did the big nose wheelie, both feet off oh, the balance thing, <laughs> flipped over the bars and back axle put a hole in the wall and things like that. There's all these holes and chips in the wall. And as you've been to my house a heap of times, you've never noticed it. I've never noticed it. Ever. We went around the house. Haley decided to go around the house and patch up all the holes in the wall, but we haven't painted it yet. So now the house looks full hobo town because there's all these <laughs> sanded patches all over the wall everywhere. And... Even like little dints and that sort of stuff, she's patched up and done that because oh, she's like, Oh, I'll just patch it up with paint. And I'm like, You've done that much. It's like, it's not just a case of painting a little bit here and a little bit there. It's, it's repaint paint the, the entire house. house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now we have to repaint the entire house. And I'm not sure if you remember, Mitchell, but we also have a five month old baby as well. Uh-huh. So you can't necessarily repaint a house and then keep a five year old baby alive. The, the kids in the house with fresh paint fumes and things like that. So I'm like, we're going to have to paint the house and get out of the house for like a day or two. So, But at the moment, with all this coronavirus panic and things like that, mm. it's not like we're like, oh, we'll just go stay in a hotel or something like that for the night. But we might go away sometime soon. But in the meantime, we've got this house that's sort of half patched <laughs> up. And it just looks ghetto with all the patches in the walls. And I said to Haley before it, because <clears throat> I said, don't worry about patching up the holes. I'm like... We still... Oh, that's what I was getting at as we well. We can stay like, in the house and get insurance. Yeah, I did say exactly that. Great minds think alike. Because I said, let's just burn the house down and... Get insurance, insurance money yeah. and then you can get a brand new house. Exactly, way better. And then the kids can wreck that. And <laughs> so, but yeah, so as I was saying, like, when the kids I would started, say I can't wait for this house to burn down, but then it's recorded. <laughs> exactly. Well, then the kids, um, as they're growing up, like, I can't let them ride around the house... And then not ride around the house. So, like, now that Max is on a 16 inch and that sort of stuff, it's a bit big to ride around the house. But not with really. all the ride-on toys, like, they're always riding around inside the house and just chips out of the corners of walls and things like that. And I'm like, ah, oh, well, it doesn't really matter too much, really. It's only chips in the walls, mm. but, yeah, at the moment, it just looks so ghetto. So, so the patching's different colour to the yeah, walls? Yeah, it's like... A grey sort of colour? Because our walls are sort of, like... The three different shades of whatever it is. Like, you probably can't tell by looking at it, but that's what... Because Haley puts all this effort in. You know, our house is kind of open plan sort of thing. Mm. The wall, as you're walking on the right-hand side, is a lighter shade than the back wall. And the wall that's on the left-hand side as you walk in is darker. Because that way, as the sun rises, it sort of comes in and everything looks uniform. It looks really cool, like, with the colours and stuff. Does it? Yeah. I've never noticed. Well, that's the thing. You don't notice it because of the way it's... So, anyway, mm. Haley's a nerd with that sort of stuff. I couldn't care less. She goes, what colour's the walls? Like, I don't know, grey? She goes, it's not grey, it's... I can't even remember what colour she said the walls are. Spectre. Well, I, I don't know. I feel like... Do you want there's... that last one? Yeah, you can have it. I'm definitely having it. Yeah, have it. I'll lick all the fat out of the plate, though, <laughs> if you like. But, um, yeah, like, I just don't... I don't really notice different colours of things. Like, I'll look at it and go... I'll look around here, I'll go, your walls are white and the logs that hold up the roof are brown. And yeah. someone will say, the walls aren't white, they're cream or beige. I'm like, well... White, yeah, cream, they might cream be. is white to me. Yeah, they might be, but it's really, it's white. Like, yeah. I don't care what you say, it's white. Like, your t-shirt is black. It's not, like, dark, dark, dark white. It's it's black. So that's easy. There's a difference in the colour. Yeah. Like, and it's like, this bench top, I say that's blue. And people might go, 
Oh no, it's green, it's aquamarine, it's, I don't know, turtle shell something something. Oh, it's fucking orange. Yeah. It's good. I don't know, I just don't... But saying that, when something's painted a nice colour and it's done properly, I can appreciate it. So I don't care enough about it in the first place. But then once it's done, I'm like, oh, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, so I don't know where I was going with that. But either way, oh, actually, that's, that's a fucking getting. good story about paint colours. At the moment... Talk about watching paint dry. <laughs> at, listening to paint not even dry yet. So, but at the moment, there's just patches everywhere and it looks ghetto. So. Hell yeah. I don't even know why I told you that. It just seemed like a good idea. Ghetto house. Yeah. Living. Exactly. So, um, so what what we'll do? We'll just drag the TV and the couch out onto the front lawn just to get full. Just get do the full King of the Hill, <laughs> King of the Hill out the front. Oh, have you watched um, F is for Family? No, but I have seen the little. It's because it's Bill Burr, the comedian. It's oh, is it really? He made the show, and he's the voice of the dad. And it's awesome. It's oh, really, yes, really yes, good. I'll get on that. Yeah. I uh, see it pop up on my Netflix I watched a couple, time, but... Just when you said King of the Hill, it reminded me... It, it's got a feel like King of the Hill, but really offensive and screwed up and set in the 70s or 80s or something like that. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. It's really, really good. It's right in my wheelhouse. Yeah. I watched a few episodes and, yeah, all for it. Because, yeah, I've been getting into Rick and Morty again, season four. That's because Rick and Morty's good. Rick and Morty's really good. It's really good. I quite like it. No, it's really good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> um, what else? I've got to get back on my notes, man. I've been writing notes down. Either and I. I'm forgetting shit. But I just remembered something. You've strummed guitars, haven't you? You've played guitar. Uh, yeah, I used to be a bass player in a, a high school band, and we used to play, like, um, Tomorrow by Silverchair. <laughs> I need to show you. <laughs> um, guy by work, he... We used to go to... Oh, we used to go to... Um, this guy at Jeff's house for band practice. Yeah. And he had like a DS80 and we used to ride that around his backyard. <laughs> it's way better and than... And then sometimes we'd like... I don't know why we'd like... But like the group of... There was like three of us that were like antagonizers in the school. Like we would like fuck around <laughs> oh, and do oh, pranks. Oh, really? <laughs> and then Jeff was like sort of the old one out. Yeah. So we would like antagonize him. Yeah. And the band practice was at his house and he'd always get angry at us and tell us not to come. <laughs> Good. Um, and that's I... my story about my high school band. I like that. Well, you'll be able to appreciate this. Guy at work said... We are talking about people who are not good at things, but somehow they're famous. And he said... Obviously, my name came up. Nah. Oh. Even, even worse than... This guy plays guitar worse than you ride a motorbike, so... Yeah? yeah Carlos he, Santana. His name's Henry Kaiser. And he goes, oh, you wait till you hear how terrible it is. Jewish name. And I thought... I thought, oh, maybe it's like someone who's good, but not very good, and that sort of well, stuff. Well, Benzian. Listen to this. I'll skip it through to stuff. That's him playing live on stage. Now, for those of you watching along, this is in the 80s, 70s? Yeah. It's terrible. It sounds like... Cat got, murder. It sounds like it's a kitten murder. It's really bad. Really bad. I've never played a guitar in my life, and I reckon I could do that. But what I thought was good about it was reading the comments on YouTube yes, related to it. Yes, YouTube comments. And someone said that they tied their guitar to their tow bar and drove a quarter mile <laughs> down the road and accidentally covered this song and things like that. And oh, <laughs> it was so good. And I don't, and people are like... So who's that guy famous? What is what band's he in? <clears throat> he, I don't think he's in any bands, but he's had, released a heap of albums and I stuff. Why? Because people are idiots. You know what it's like? You get these wine connoisseurs that think... They talk about the palette of things and how it has tannins and all this sort of crap and then they get proven wrong when someone does a blind taste test and they vote their Aldi wine is better than the high-end wine. You know, all this yeah. sort of stuff. I think people think because it's different that means it's good and he talks about how he's not mainstream like Santana and things like that. He tries There's to do his own thing. Yeah, exactly. And if that goes on the radio, people crash their cars. <laughs> it's so bad. I love it. That is coronav audio coronavirus. Audio coronavirus. <laughs> uh, that yeah. is terrible. It's yeah. really bad. So I thought, um, I thought I'd better show you that one. You'd, yeah, you'd appreciate that. That's fucking shit house. <laughs> exactly. In the nicest way possible. That's mm. terrible. You just keep trying, champ. Mm. Hey, what's his name? Henry Kissinger. Henry Kaiser. Kaiser. Kissinger is. He's a UN guy, isn't he? Yeah, Henry Kissinger. I think he's a UN guy. Is it Henry Kissinger? Yeah. Oh, how's Tom Hanks got coronavirus? Yeah, cut that, Tommy boy. Yeah. Um, oh, Jenny. 
<laughs> Jenna. I love that there was a um, there was a picture going around. Someone in the Gold Coast Hospital made a Wilson volleyball with the hand on it and rolled it into him, so he had some company for <laughs> it. Ah, uh, it makes me happy. People are awesome. So wait, where did he get it? Was he in Australia when he got it? He's in quarantine on the Gold Coast at the moment. Oh, he got it from the Gold Coast. I don't know if he got it from the Gold Coast. He probably brought it here. He's probably imagine if that's the reason Australia, everyone in Australia, dies of coronavirus. From Tom Hanks, because Forrest Gump brought it over. <laughs> Can you imagine how good that'd be. It'd be worth. That'd it. be good. Yeah. Why um, are we talking about coronavirus again? We just covered no, no really twenty-seven minutes talk. on it. No more coronavirus talk. So, Corona so now with the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, about like coronavirus. Um, Tom Hanks has it, and his wife. Oh, we should talk about our kettlebell workout we did just then. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I picked up a kettlebell for the first time in my life and yep. then put it down. <laughs> Stuff to <doing> that. <laughs> hold it out right in front of you for four minutes. And yeah, then I exactly. held it out in front of me for five minutes, proving that I'm the creative man. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> proving I'm... Though it may not appear, I'm the stronger man of the two of us. Oh, it appears that way too. <laughs> Are you um, sure? What was I going to say? I can't recall. I think there was something good. I'm sure there was something good that I had to tell you. How come your dog food, dog water bowl is propped up off the ground instead of on the ground? Oh, because Swayze gets the treatment, dude. He doesn't have to fucking reach all the way down. So your dog has to go... He doesn't have to put his head all the way down. He doesn't down have to put his head all the way to down. To get water. He just has to hold it a little bit up. I don't think that's really necessary for a dog. No, it's not necessary, but... Dogs, lick their, own, come... dogs lick their own balls, and yep. you're like, oh, I don't want him to put his head down at the ground to drink. He has to... He just has it like a little... His own table. Like a table, yeah. (laughs) It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now I'm looking around the house. Dog dog parenting. (laughs) Dog parenting. I'll make my kids drink out of a bowl straight off the ground. It's much better. Yeah. It's good for their So I treat my... Dog gets a little bit (laughs) better treatment. Exactly. But obviously Max and Wes have stronger necks than Swayze does. Yeah, I like to... I like to build my kids with tough necks. <laughs> Speaking of which, those sausages actually were right. They were, they were good sausages. Considering they came out of the freezer, I reckon they've been mm. in the freezer for months. What I like is they were kind of like a like a Twinkie or something. How the inside was a different texture to the outside because the inside was still frozen. So yeah, they were like a what would you call it? like a <clears throat> like the chewy caramel center was frozen yeah, they like and a, hard. They were like a curly whirly. Yeah, like an inside out curly. <laughs> Like an inside got, out Twix bar. You got this crunch on the outside and then this lovely texture and then you just sort of snap off the frozen bit. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it went from crunchy on the outside, overcooked, to yeah. a goo, yeah. to a hard frozen yeah. core. It's like... If really you ever, hit the... Have you ever actually cooked things in the microwave? Like, you know when you actually cook something in the microwave? Like vegetables and stuff. Uh, more so like if you cook like a meat pie or something like that in the oh, microwave. Oh yeah, it's the worst. You and get the, it and in the centre... The hot is... The, like the outside is just fucking yeah, deathly hot. It's, it's like hot. it's been a nuclear reactor <laughs> and then the centre is just frozen. <laughs> as cold as an arctic tundra. <laughs> just... Exactly. Like the fucking outside of an igloo. Yes. Not the inside. No, the inside's quite warm. So your pie's like, like an inside out <laughs> <laughs> reverse igloo. <laughs> I'd love to Mrs. Live Max in, reverse igloo. I want to live in an igloo. I reckon that'd be awesome. No, it'd be shit. You, oh, it'd I be like cool for a day. Oh, Airbnb in an igloo would be fun. I have to send you a link to a video. I fell down a rabbit hole, because you live in a log cabin. I fell down a rabbit hole of looking up people building log cabins in Finland and things like that. Mm-hmm. Using proper, actual, like... Pine tree logs, logs like actual log actual cabin logs, out of logs, yeah. and building them in the snow. Like it's snowing while they're building the cabins, and they build them all with screws and a chainsaw. Like the whole lot's just done with a chainsaw. It was awesome. It, really, I, I, see, I watched. I watched What's that the roof thing. situation. <sighs> they use proper logs, like the logs that they'll they'll cut them into. What's the word? Sticks. Beams. Beams. That's the word I was looking for. Beams. And, um... They cut them into sticks. Yep. Sticks. They cut logs into sticks. With a chainsaw. With a chainsaw. And, oh, it was awesome. I ended up watching so many videos of log cabins. And then, that night, I'm laying in bed, Googling chainsaw attachments. They had, like, these different attachments for chainsaws. Wait, what? Yeah. There's different attachments for chainsaws, like, planar sort of attachments for skimming bark off logs and that sort of stuff. And there's, um... 
you can get attachments for chainsaws that screw onto the side of chainsaws where the chain only goes for water pumps and that sort of stuff. So you can use them as water pumps to get water out of rivers. It's awesome. Really? Chainsaw attachments are cool. My old man's been Fire my out. old man was a tree lopper forever and I've he's got heaps of chainsaws and stuff. I've never thought about attachments for him. Like, well, it's, it's really just cool. like anything, isn't it? Yeah. It's awesome. It's just a basically a PTO shaft. Yeah. And um they've even got like drills, like big two inch diameter drill bits that go on them so you can hold the chainsaw and bore big holes through logs and that sort of stuff. It's awesome. Fire out. Yeah. Go. So I was laying in bed at like midnight, couldn't Drew sleep. Different chainsaw, no, attachments. chainsaw attachments to fit the chainsaw that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was really good. I like it. I want to build I'm a thinking cabin. about getting a Milwaukee one. Milwaukee log cabin? Electric. No, no. Milwaukee chainsaw. Thinking about it. I don't know about an electric chainsaw because I've used chainsaws a lot in my life because dad was a tree lopper and every time we go camping we're always cutting down trees and that sort of stuff but I find all the Milwaukee shit are batteries and lots of stuff if you're goofing around like just cutting up cutting little twigs and that sort of stuff it probably wouldn't matter but I feel like because electric motors when they're really getting torqued really hard like if they're free revving wouldn't be a stress but I feel like when you start cutting through some big logs and it's under torque you'll drain the batteries pretty quick I feel like yeah I think that's why you just switch them out all the time yeah true I don't know. I've never used an electric chainsaw. It'd probably be really good. Pretty, pretty quiet um, too. See, Elon Musk put out a tweet saying, should he run for president? Oh, please do. How good would that be? Please there's, do. There's all these memes kicking around. If anyone's going to take my Donald Trump vote away, I'd vote for him. Yeah, there's all these um, memes kicking around, like a screenshot of Elon Musk saying, should I run for president? And then like a screenshot down the bottom saying, America five years later, and it looks like the Jetsons, like all spaceships yeah. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. <clears throat> He'd be awesome. Well, I mean, it feels like a bit of a joke now, doesn't it? <clears throat> well, he couldn't have been like, president, though, because he was born in South, South Africa. So, really? you have to be born in America to be the American uh, president. So but how's he going to run for president? Well, he wouldn't be actually be able to. But how good would it be if he did? Uh, if he I feel like Kanye West is going to run, isn't he? Mm. There's some bullshit about him doing it. Nah, he's a waste it's like he's a, a waste celebrity. Of space. Yeah, it's just a, a celebrity gimmick. fucking gimmick. But then again, Donald, As we Donald said, Trump was a celebrity gimmick, and now he's at war with the world. It's not a war with the world, just a bit of Iran action. Yeah, a bit of Iran action. Well, if they get a fucking central, centralised Rothschild bank, they'll be fine. A what? I don't understand any of those A words. bank ran by the Rothschilds, like, they'll be fine. Oh, okay. They seem to go at war with anyone that has their own bank system. Do they? Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't know how all that works. I don't really know much about politics, hmm. or banking, or Rothschilds, or, um, or Donald Trump, or Kanye. Do you know anything about getting that 50 bucks out, Yami? Or? Yeah, cheers. Didn't do it. Uh, and um, when you asked Wes for that fifty bucks last time, he still hasn't given you the fifty bucks yet either. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to send someone around and break his legs. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Oh yeah, I'm, cool. the same. I'm going there. Just hey, if here, you break anyway. his legs, I'll give you twenty bucks out of the fifty he owes me. <laughs> yes, forty percent cut. It's worth it. That's not I'll, bad to yeah. break someone's. Leg. Normally, it's only a ten percent cut. Oh, but then I got to deal with like hospitals and that sort of stuff. Make him walk to the hospital himself. We've got Medicare. Yeah, it's true. You have to pay. Then I gotta wait there, and I'll get coronavirus. And ugh, yeah, I mean, but if you get coronavirus, at least you're in a hospital. But what if you get from there? You're already in a hospital. Do you have to go home to get fixed. I don't know what's to go there. If you get sick from, I the feel hospital. like you would easily like coronavirus would easily spread in a hospital. Yeah, definitely. The worst. But that's where you want to go it. if you have it. Do you? Yeah, if you have it, you do. But if you haven't got it, you don't want to go there. But if you, it spreads there and you'll get it there. So you are kind of where you want to be. I had a dream about Super Mario Brothers the other day. Did you? I haven't played Super Mario Brothers or thought about it for like 20 years. And I was just popped up. It just popped up, popped up in my head. Huh. I thought about how good old video games were. I mean, they were all right. Really? I... They, no, they were good back then. Like, yeah, back then they, they were, were really basic and simple. And then when I got here, you were playing. What game was that you were playing? Uh... AMA Supergross 3? Yeah. And like the, the, the graphics on that look good. Like, when I came in the front door, I had to... Like, the TV, yeah, it was a fair way away. But I had to pause for a second and think, is that a video game or is that actual footage? Like, yeah. it looked really good. No, it does look quite good. Yeah. And, like, did you... Ever... Physics aren't great, though. Like, it's okay to play, yeah. but it's not, like, perfect. How, it's clunky. When you think about it, how difficult is it to recreate the physics of dirt bike riding in Impossible, video games? Just about. It's just, it'd be so hard. You know what, like, there's so much that goes on. Yeah, you're right. always better off having it, like, a little bit fake, 
Yeah. Like, you want to not make it fully realistic because it yeah. won't work. Well, it's you like... You have, like, a bit of that arcade sort of feel. Like, with car racing games, it's realistically, it's very, very two-dimensional. Like... You can get it pretty good. You can get it pretty good. There's a bit of body roll, and then you've got, like, weight bias effect and things like that. But that but can all be calculated all, easily. It's all vehicle yeah. stuff. It's not, like yeah. a, it's not like a piece of meat yeah. on top that's changing shit. Exactly. And that's what I was thinking. And then, like, even with flying, like, aviation, yeah, it's three-dimensional... But you're not interacting with the ground. If you're interacting with the ground, there's nothing else you really need to worry about. You just need crash yeah. physics. Yeah, yes. exactly. And which recreating aviation crashes in a video game be pretty easy. It's just oh, I'm near the ground, boom, huge fireball, yeah, and then you're yeah, done, yeah, basically. Yeah. And um, it doesn't have to be exact. But it? with moto, especially like supercross and things like that, there's it's not just not just dealing with the physics of the bike leaning and the way the person moves on top of it, but you're dealing, it's dealing with jumps with every and like, jump, like yeah, and you know what's like if someone tries to scrub a jump, it's not just a case of the bike and the rider just flop on their side. Like, it's a weight transfer and, like, hanging your ass off so the bike can move independently of you and things like that. Yeah, it's just about the worst thing to do a video game It would be really hard. The only thing that would probably almost be harder would be BMX. Not fishing. (laughs) You're the worst. BMX would be hard. Fishing is fucking... Would be hard. No, it wouldn't. Why would it... Fishing would would be hard, dude. Why on earth? Fishing would be so how hard could, to make a video fishing, game of. That would not be hard. A fishing video game would be impossible. You're, you're serious. This is the worst thing I've ever done as a podcast. A fishing video game would be fucking impossible, dude. It'd be so easy. Why? Because it has a person with a stick Every and a Every fish screen. has a different way of reacting if it gets on the line. And that's only if you ever fucking catch a fish, dude. You, you have cannot to every say different fish. that a fishing video game would be harder to make than a motocross video game. I can just about guarantee it. No, you can't. You think you, you can? Different boats, dude. There's different boats. There's different What's lines. Boat different reels. Different reels. Different, different, reels, different bo- lines. Different lures. Dude. This is. You got to make each fish react differently to each different lure. This is the the worst conversation we've ever had. <laughs> no, it's not. It's dude, really it's bad. Accurate. <laughs> it's not accurate. Motocross is fucking easy compared to fishing. <laughs> You're the worst. Oh. I'm not, dude. Imagine what? Imagine trying to recreate a fly fishing game. Fucking It'd be easy. impossible, dude. Oh, a person, a fat person, a stick, a string, and a river, and a fish. Done. No, because you get... Activision, where's things. my money? Does Activision still make video games? Uh, I don't think they do. Rockstar, give me my money. I don't... You... Grand Theft Auto Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Fishing. <laughs> fishing with a shotgun. <laughs> no, oh, that's... This is the dumbest no, thing. No, because think about how many different species of fish there are, right? Billions. I don't play billions, video games. Billions of I billions. don't play video... There's not billions of different species. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Billions and there's, billions there's, of different I don't play video games, but there's video games out there where they've got, like, millions of people worldwide all interacting with each other as Maybe well as... billions. As people. well as other... Yeah, put like, them all in a fishing competition. As well as other, like, semi-autonomous characters that are just doing things by what the computer game does. Like, when you play a racing game, a car racing game, there's, like, 16 other cars or 20 other cars on the track that all move independently, and this is a... They okay. coordinate that. You think they couldn't coordinate a fish <laughs> grabbing onto a hook? Jesus Christ! How many fish are in the ocean? It doesn't matter! <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> yeah, matter! It, does it matter. doesn't matter how... Oh, my okay, God! We- this is stupid. Mate, a track is a track. The ocean is the fucking ocean, mate. Different depths. I'm glad we're at 28 minutes. This is the worst podcast <laughs> we've ever done. No, I'm telling that's you. it. I'm telling you. Listen, you go make a, you go make a fishing game, I'll make a motocross game, and we're, I guarantee we're it'll done. be done. First. We're done. I guarantee it'll 